Hello and welcome to Praise and Worship. We had just a little bit of technical difficulty, so we're starting a couple minutes later, so let's try this again. Facebook actually did an update yesterday, and, um, and every time that happens, it takes them a few days to work the bugs out on any external microphones. So uh, we're gonna try this again and, um, and see if we can't, uh, see if everything's working. So let me know if uh, you're ha still having difficulty, okay? Um, Everybody that, that, that turned it Hold on. on one second. Melissa's wanting to talk to me. Melissa's here with us. She's our general manager for Kids Club for Jesus. What are you trying to say I to me? I lost everybody's song requests, so they'll have to... Okay, so them. anybody that submitted a song request before, we lost that when we had to reboot. So please resubmit your song requests. And um, I know here that um, uh, we have a, our first song here is I Don't Know About Tomorrow for Linda Crozier from Sacramento, California. We'll start with that one. So if you had already put in your your song request today, please do that again. And everyone else, I want to invite you who are just joining uh, to just submit your song request, your favorite songs, and um, uh, also let us know where you're from. We'd love to hear where you're from. Uh, for those of you who are just joining and uh, we're starting here uh, this program over again, I want to introduce our very special guest, Darlene. Um, and how do you say your last name? Hubbard. Hubbard. Yes. And Darlene, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes. Um, I'm Darlene. I was originally born in Nic Nicaragua, Central America, but we live here in Tennessee. I attend the College of Community Church and one of the priests and worship leaders there and also sing with Message of Mercy. I know they were... Yes. On your program. Yes, years they back. sang on Kids Time with their children. And I missed it out. I'm sure my daughter would have loved to be on there. But um, <laughs> yes, I, I'm married to Rob Hubbard and I have a 13 year old daughter and an eight month old son. So, Woo! yes. That's a lot of space between us. <laughs> so excited for you to have me here. Oh, Very privileged. It's a privilege to have you here. And thank you so much for joining us. And our and Teddy Bear thinks he's going to sleep in my lap. Last week he actually did. I played a song with him in my lap, and I, without realizing it, and he he thinks he's going to get away with that again. But Teddy, I need I need both hands, honey. So get down for right now. He can join us at the end, and we're going to start off with I don't know about tomorrow from Linda Crozier, and she's from Sacramento, California. Okay. Carolyn from Wausau, Wisconsin, turn your eyes upon Jesus.
bird would like to have day by day. Sisters, was it? Garver sisters. The Garver but, sisters. But one of them wants the song this week and the other one wants a different one. Okay, so this week I promised I'd learn the song and my mom taught it to me and I did re kind of remember but not enough to play it for you. Um, so um, I, I have it for you this week. Climb, climb up Sunshine Mountain and Liliana from Loma Linda. So Liliana, this is for you. Um, climb, climb up Sunshine Mountain. And do you know this one? Yes. Lyrics, okay. And then we have Audrey from Loma Linda would like to have um, Holy, Holy, Holy. Is that... Um
um, Renee from Boring, Oregon would like to have trust and obey. write and let us know but she would like to have the old rugged cross for the Southern Union. It has a big weekend for um, just, you know, a thousand women praying. Mm -hmm. And we had a, um, a just amazing time today. And this is one of the songs that I chose to play uh, to open the service mm -hmm. uh, with Sweet Hour of Prayer. When you think about a whole weekend of just focus on women praying, a thousand women praying around the world. And our uh, women's ministry leader for the Southern Union, uh, Shirley Scott, uh, put all that together. She's just done an amazing job. And uh, there's power in prayer. Yes. And the, the, you know, prayer is always a privilege that is mm -hmm. ours, but the power is always God. Mm -hmm. Isn't that true? So let's see, we have here Hadassah from Alaska. Hi, Hadassah. Would like to have into my heart.
give anything that we don't have. Mm -hmm. So we need to be filled with God's love. We need to be filled and shining with God's love. And then we can shine out to everyone we need. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. Uh, we have here um, Max from North Carolina, come the fount of every blessing. wants this so we'll sing it one more time for Mary too okay To God be the glory. another one right away and Melissa will let me know as soon as you do okay Ray or our good friend Ray from Walla Walla Washington and Ray you are so faithful to watch us and I pray that God has been um, giving you uh, good health this week uh, heavenly sunshine and lift up the trumpet do you know heavenly sunshine I... so if you don't know it I, fine. I will listen. and you can jump in yes. and then we'll sing lift up the trumpet okay today. Mm -hmm. So good to hear from everybody. We have, uh, oh, Barbara from Reading, Pennsylvania. 
is would like to have fill my cup lord and that's when do you know this one like the woman at the well i would okay learn it today okay Listen. type one in and they all go fly into the top here for me because she's sending them to me texting them to me darlene from an uh how do you say pronounce that from the british virgin islands uh and is that anagata sure. I'm, I'm not that sure good. but melissa saying that sounds good she would like to have the love of god she shares your name darlene yes and do you know the love of god um i know the love of god not the song though Tapinabe, Michigan. Heaven came down. And you're from Michigan. Have you heard of that? Heaven came down. No, no, oh, the city. I have not. You where have is that at? I'm not sure. UP. Is it in the UP? Maybe. Maybe you can tell us where it's at. But um, heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Do you know this one?
have to read the lyrics in English. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing a good job, isn't she? She's doing a great job. Let's see here. We have, um, this is my father's world. Terry requests this from Turner, Oregon. So I love we've got quite a few watching from Oregon today, and I want to thank you for joining us, Terry. Uh, this is my father's world. talking to me right now so she said george's second song is leaning on, the everlasting, leaning on the everlasting arms and yes i do know that one george you know what yes. a fellowship what a joy divine leaning on the everlasting arms coming in this is wonderful amy from iowa would like to have my jesus i love thee Forgive me, but we're we're doing it. It's we're not doing it about. It's not about me anyway. So. Well, don't you love that kind of attitude? It's all about Jesus. Okay, so we have here. Um, uh, Alma from Georgia would like to have one day at a time. Do you yes. know this one? Yes, I this do. This was one of my grandma Mitchell's favorite songs, and she lived by this too. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking for you. Do you remember? Uh -oh. Yesterday. Okay. Do you remember? Is that it? Is that? Uh, it starts with uh, the one I have. Let's Sorry. Now that, that's the chorus. Yeah. The way we start with the chorus. Okay. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. Show me the way 
day at a time. And that is how we just keep holding God's hand, just one day at a time. And he will help us through every single day. Uh, Jilly would like to have, in a little while, we're going home. So would Tyreek. And so would Tyreek. We know where they're from? Jilly's from North Carolina. Jilly's from North Carolina. Okay, so... Um, you know, she's your friend, Jilly. Oh, my friend, Jilly. Hello, Jilly. How are you, sweetheart? I, I, uh, I, you, she, she is musically talented, so musically talented, their whole family is. So, uh, Jilly, this one is for you. Um, uh, in a little while, we're going home. for that day to happen. Okay, let's see. We have uh, Joe would like to have Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. And uh, Joe, we've already played the song, but let's do it one more time. It's a short little chorus, okay. and I really would love for you to hear this because every one of us, I don't think we can hear it <coughs> enough that we need to keep our eyes on Jesus, and it's the only way to make it through, okay? South Africa wanted that song as well. So Desiree, that's for you as well. Dolores would like to have How Great Thou Art. And uh, did we have someone else with that song as well? It seemed like we did. But Dolores is from Grove Spring, Missouri. How Great Thou Art. Hope you're doing good. Uh, he would like to have um, the Holy City. And um, and this, this I'm just going to, um, I'm going to play his special one for him, okay?
Marsha Swag Dolores, who's <clears throat> so supportive of our, our Kids Club for Jesus Studio and Leadership Center, our children's ministry, and, and we really couldn't uh, do what we do without God touching the hearts of, of people like Star and Dolores and all of you uh, who are willing to support our ministry. For those of you who are maybe are tuning in for the first time, I invite you to visit kidsclubforjesus.org. We have uploaded almost 900 uh, Christ-centered programs for children, and we also have daily um, devotions. We have uh, online Bible lessons. We have arts and crafts contests and so much more for children. And uh, we we are uh, self-employed. We're a tax-exempt organization. And I really encourage you to go there, visit our site. There's a place there you can hit the donate uh, uh, button right there to help support us. And and also, we would appreciate your prayers because, uh, really, we can do nothing of ourselves. And it is only through our relationship with Jesus and following every single step of the way how he is leading. And so I really would appreciate it if you would um, just visit our site, kidsclubforjesus.org, and it's um, our studio leadership center. So um, this is uh, um, another song here that we have next is from... Let's see. Oh, they, they slid up here again on me. Uh, Melissa's typing in as fast as she can. Peggy from Nixon, Missouri, would like to have the Battle Hymn of the Republic for her son, Perry. It's his favorite song. Is that My Eyes Have Seen the Glory? Um, yes, My Eyes Have Seen the Glory. Do you know that one? Oh, uh, yes. I'm not sure where that is. Watch ye saints. And Michael, I don't know that song. So if you would mind typing in another one, Melissa will tell me right away what it is, okay? And we'll try to get that in for you. Uh, Emma from Gainesville, Texas, Give Me Jesus. And can you start this off for me, Melissa? In the morning when I Oh, yeah. Okay. She always does that for me because I, I get stumped on the title. a message in that song and we have uh, Malin from the Philippines would like to have great is thy faithfulness also off Neil um, would like to have this he's from Jamaica he would like to have this one as well off Neil if you'd like to see off Neil came and sang for us on mm -hmm. kids time and he flew all the way from Jamaica and all kids on but sing on the program come in from all over the world some wow. may not realize that but all over the world and I don't even remember the count, so maybe Melissa can help me remember how many countries people, the kids have come from. Wow. But Othniel came and he shared on Jesus. I was actually speaking uh, for their camp meeting over in Jamaica when he sang for special music there. And I was so impressed with how he really, he sang like just the light of Jesus was shining through him. Wow. And I was so blessed by that, that I actually on the spot in front of the whole audience invited him to come and be on uh, Kids Time and sing for us, and he did. So Othniel keeps shining for Jesus. He's still singing for Jesus oh. and loves the Lord with all his heart. So um, Othniel, that, this is for you as well. And I also want to make sure we say this is from, um, I lost my spot here, also from Malin from the Philippines. And thank you for all of those of you who are joining us in the Philippines. I had a, a wonderful Zoom meeting with you last weekend, and we really had a wonderful time together. So um, 
I uh, do you know this song right yes. here? So, um, hold on one second, right here. I lost my place right here. Okay. Um, great side face moves. Virginia redeemed. birthday song I wrote the words to it okay. and uh, it's happy birthday to you to Jesus be true God okay. bless you and keep you the whole year through okay so happy birthday to you to, to Jesus, Jesus be, be true. true God bless you and keep you the whole year through okay. birthday song <laughs> and we're also going to play the song you requested his eyes on the sparrow do you know that yes
probably one of my favorite songs. And I um, had a special, I have a friend that's just so precious to me. We went to a cabin together. You've heard me while you mentioned uh, Truby, because Truby's actually the one that introduced me to Jerry that introduced, got, introduced me to you. Uh, so Truby knows everybody in this area. <laughs> And she knows that that's one of your favorite songs. And she actually had, um, you guys can't see it here, but on top of my cupboard over there, this framed with the words of the chorus of that. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. For his eyes on the sparrow. And I know he's watching me. And that song just brings me so much joy and so much hope because to know that Jesus loves us that much. And it's personal. I, mm -hmm. I really love that song. Michael. Yes, hey, and Melissa is out, out telling me right now, Michael has chosen another song. Blessed Assurance. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. Tennessee and she would like we gather together Does Jesus care? And this will be the last song that we actually have um, time. Let's see. We have, oh, there's so many more down here. Maybe a few. Do you, can you have a few more minutes? We can sure. sit, We can do a few more maybe to get some of these in because there's so many of them. Um, so if you want to hang with us, we'll sing a few more. Um, Does Jesus care for John? try to learn that for later okay um, but I got a little bit of it for you Pamela from Jamaica would like to have my maker and my king from 
from Nashville, Tennessee, if any little word of mine may make a dark life brighter. I don't know that song. I started to think it was a different one. If, um, if I have wounded any soul today, I was thinking of that song, uh, Lord Forgive. That's a beautiful song, by the way. If you don't know that one, I, uh, my mom used to sing that song. My mom had the most amazing voice. Uh, but I don't know this one, Neela. So uh, perhaps we can choose another one. And Marlene from Sun Valley, California would like to have In the Garden. Judy would like to have this song. Do we know where Judy's from? like to have stand up stand up for Jesus and let's see Then we have um, uh, Kasimbo from Uganda would like to have Sound the Battle Cry.
to play. <laughs> and Leona from, uh, let's see, uh, we don't know where Leona's from, right? Mm -hmm. But also, Leona wants a song, Until Then, and also um, our good friend Rhonda Morcombe from Australia also wanted this one. So both of you, this one is Until Then. Do you know this one? prayer requests, I mean song requests, now start sending the prayer requests. Um, anybody that you would like me to pray for, whether it's yourself, whether it's a friend, a loved one, uh, whatever that prayer request is, go ahead and submit that prayer request now and then we will, um, at the end of these songs, I will have a special prayer for each one and lift them up before the throne room of God. So um, it may be, even be a silent request, whatever that is, uh, submit the prayer request right now. And uh, while we are submitting prayer requests, let's see, we already have, um, uh, let's see, Abel would like to have Jesus paid it all. joining us all the way over in England and she would like to have I will sing of my Redeemer. Zambia would like to have Fill My Cup, Lord.
to have Jesus keep me near the cross. Just a closer walk with me. Jesus. Uh, we have uh, a song that I saw you sing and that the privilege of hearing you sing is What a Day That Will Be uh, When My Jesus I Shall See. And that's such a, a beautiful, beautiful song. Um, I thought I'd ask you if you would sing that right now. Sure.
day. No more parting over there, no more sickness, no more tears, no more death. But each day will be the, the more glorious than the day before. There is so much heartache in this world right now. There's so many people that are suffering. Um, there's many of us who have lost loved ones uh, recently, even uh, not just for COVID, but for so many other diseases. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, that is the, the evilness of this world. Uh, I want to ask for special prayer for my good friend, um, Corey, if we could put that in there, who's with his father right now. Um, he could die at any moment. And um, Pastor Corey Herthel, who was with us last week, and we all prayed for his father, and he was able to get to see him. He wasn't going to be able to see him. The hospital wouldn't even let him in to see his father. Wow. And uh, last night at 6 o'clock p.m., God just worked a miracle, divine intervention, and was able to allow Corey to be with his his father last night and uh, and he's uh, we need to all just be lifting them up in prayer right now it's a it's an awful thing to have a loved one pass away and there's so many sickness there's so much sickness in this world there's also um, something even far worse than sickness and death and that's those who are lost those who haven't given their heart to Jesus because that's eternal um, and I just we need to be praying for our loved ones more than we've ever prayed before but there is no more time to play uh, on the devil's playground. That time is over. We need to get our hearts with Jesus right now. And now more than ever before, we need to lift up our loved ones, especially those that are not walking with Jesus. We need to just pray passionately for their salvation because that's worse. Being lost is worse than anything else that can yes. happen to you on this earth. So let's be passionately praying for our loved ones as well. And uh, is there anything that you would like me to pray for? Our family, um, we recently lost my father-in-law to COVID uh, right before Thanksgiving. So just for peace and just knowing that when that day comes, we will see him and he'll get to meet my son. And we are not, we're not sad because we know God is taking him and, and we'll see him in heaven. That's right. Just yes. sleeping in Jesus right yes. now. So I'm just going to ask um, if, uh, uh, most if you could add that prayer request there as well. Um, and I'm just going to come back up here too because there's so many here that um, we want to just lift up in prayer. And um, let's just bow our heads right now and go before the throne room of God. Precious Heavenly Father, Lord, I just want to ask that you would um, just be with us in a special way. Lord, there are so many people that are hurting out there right now. There's so many people, Lord, that don't know you. And uh, there's so many people that need to know that you are their Savior, that you love them, Lord, and that you're coming soon. And that you love them so much you can't imagine heaven without them. Lord, I just want to lift up Alma to you right now, um, whose uh, husband is in the hospital. Lord, you know what his need is. You know his condition. Lord, I pray that you would be with him in a special way. Be with him and be his great physician. I pray for Letitia, Lord, who would like to have prayer for everyone who is suffering with COVID. And there's so many around the world, Lord, right now that are that are um, suffering right now and don't their their life is weighing in the balance and I and I ask the Lord to be with each one um, extra close to them right now Lord I pray for Philip who would like prayer Lord to remove the difficult things in his life there's so much challenges in his life Lord and you know what they are so Lord I pray that you would give him the victory that you will give him the courage and the strength to face each one uh, Lord, you've told us that you will not give us more than what we can bear. And Lord, we, we claim that promise right now. Yeah. I pray for Sparrow, who would like prayer for her friend AJ, who is in surgery at this very moment, having a kidney transplant. Lord, that's a serious surgery. And Lord, I pray that you would be with her friend right now. Lord, I pray that you would guide those surgeons' hands as they're operating on AJ at this very moment. And I pray for Lester's prayer, Lord, too, that he would like prayer for our nation, for healing, Lord, we we have so much going on in our world right now. What a what a sad time this is, Lord. And I just I ask for a, your your hand of your healing, Lord, in the hearts of your people and your children here. Lord, I ask all um, pray for Jennifer. Would like prayer that we could all be more humble and kind, loving and caring, and tolerant and patient with each other, and that we could think of others as better than ourselves, so that we could love Jesus instead of pushing him on to other people, uh, pushing him away. Lord, you came here and set an amazing example of how we should behave. 
Lord, you, you didn't lift your voice at people. You were patient with people. You were kind and you were always thinking of others. And Lord, help us, each one of us, to become more like you. I pray for Ray, Lord, who would like prayer for his health. And uh, you know, Lord, the challenge that he, challenges that he's going through. Lord, I pray that you would be with him in a special way. Be his great physician. And I pray for Nancy's husband who is ill, Lord. You know that need. Please answer according to your will. I pray for Pamela family, Lord, that they would give their hearts to you. Be with them in a special way, Lord. Bring them into a oneness with you. And I pray that you will give them no peace or rest until there's full surrender for you. Lord, I pray for Gwen, who would like prayer for her daughter, at Adelie's salvation. Lord, that is the greatest need that we have, is, is the salvation of our friends, our family, Lord. And Gwen would like to see her in heaven. I pray for Darlene, Lord, her unspoken request for herself. You know what that is. And also for an end to COVID. It's wrecking havoc around the world, Lord, not just in, in America, but in every country around the world we're being challenged with this a terrible virus. I pray for Esther, Lord, for her son, Henry Jr., and all for her family and her friends. And Lord, you know what the need is for each one of them. Answer according to your will, Lord. I pray for Sherry Lynn, who would like healing for herself as another test for COVID came back positive and she'd like to go back to work soon. She can't go till she gets a negative test. So Lord, I pray for healing for her. I pray for Ruthie, Lord, who would like prayer for her husband and her daughter who are sick. And also Desiree would like to have prayer for the people in Western Cape, South Africa as COVID is hitting them very hard as well. I pray for you, Wazera, who would like prayer for healing for Tara and for Christy who are struggling with cancer. Oh Lord, that's a terrible, terrible disease. And Lord, we ask for your healing. I pray for Jim who would like prayer for everyone's safety. Also for his father-in-law who is sick. Lord, put your healing hand upon him and heal him if it be your will. I pray for Monique, Lord, who would like prayer for the healing for her mother who is dealing with health issues. You know what it is, Lord. I pray that you would just be her great physician. Put your healing hand upon her. Lord, you are the only, only real healer. I pray for Sherlyn, would like prayer for her mother's health as well. And Lord, you know what the need is there. Answer according to your will. Pray for also for um, Sherry Lynn's um, prayer for Cheryl, Lord, and her family. As Cheryl's husband passed away last week. And oh, it's so difficult and hard to lose a loved one, Lord. It's hard for the ones that are left behind who love them so much. Lord, give them comfort. Give them peace. And I pray for Jan who would like prayer for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Lord, that your work would be completed with the sealing of the saints so that you can come again to take us home. Oh, Lord, we are homesick for heaven. And I pray for Terry, Lord, who would like prayer for, for Tara and Kathy, baby Imogene, baby Fitzpatrick, Kayla, and baby Tessie, Lord. There's so many children, Lord, that are suffering. Oh, dear Jesus, put your healing hand upon each one. Lord, we're asking for a divine intervention. We're asking for a miracle if it be your will. Lord, we don't pray for, for greatness. Lord, we don't know how to pray. Sometimes our prayers are so weak because we think small, but you think big. Lord, help us to pray with faith and claim in Matthew 21, 22. You've told us anything we pray believing we will receive. And Lord, I pray for, um, for Mary who would like prayer for her husband to su surrender his life to the Lord. Lord, you are a God... Who, who loves to save your children, Lord. You are our Savior. So, Lord, we're asking you to just keep knocking at his heart's door. And I pray for Maria's unspoken request. Lord, you know what it is. And also prayers for America. Lord, we are a nation that is in need of you, and we need need of a Savior. I pray for Paul, who would like prayer for restoration and healing for himself, Lord. I pray that you will be his great physician. And pray for Max, Lord, for his children's salvation. He loves his children so much, and he wants to see them in the kingdom, Lord. Give them no peace or rest until they do make their full surrender to you, Lord, and give their hearts to you. I pray for Pastor Corey Herthel, Lord, and his, his precious father. And I pray for their family, Lord, who, who is suffering right now, just knowing that, Lord, his death is imminent. Lord, I just ask for courage and strength for Corey, Lord. It's so hard to see your loved one slip away. And I also pray for his father, Lord, that you will give him a peace and a comfort, knowing it's okay to close his eyes. And the next voice he hears will be your, yours. Lord, I pray for baby, baby Gaelic, Lord, in Michigan, who
who was born with a brain tumor, Lord, be with her in a special way. And I pray for Darlene's family here, Lord, who is uh, dealing with the loss of her father-in-law. Be with her precious husband and his, their entire family, Lord, because it's hard to lose someone you love. It can't even be unbearable, Lord, to even think that they're not with us anymore. Lord, we just want to pray for each and every one of those unspoken requests. That, and for all those prayer requests, Lord, as people even uh, later watch this program and they have their prayer requests, Lord, I pray that you will answer each one according to your will. Give us each of us faith and strength and courage to stay faithful to you, Lord, no matter what the devil throws at us. Help us, each and every one of us, to just stay faithful to you, to keep holding your hand and allow you to hold our hand, that we may not stray for a moment, Lord, that we will be ready to meet you when you come in those clouds of glory. We cannot wait for that day. In your precious holy name I pray. Amen. Amen. Teddy Bear, come on, baby. He knows when it's about time to say goodbye. You want to say goodbye? Yes, you want to say goodbye, Teddy Bear? Darling, thank you so much thank for being you. here with us. I definitely want you to come back thank again. You, of course. You are such a blessing. And now hopefully next time we'll have our microphones fixed so that you can actually hear her better. She's got a beautiful voice. And how can they hear you if they would like to sing for hear any of your songs? Can they go to YouTube for Messages um, of Mercy? Yes, we do have a YouTube, um, also on, on our Facebook page, Messages of Mercy, um, or our, our website, messageofmercy.org. Um, yes, so. Awesome. Well, I want to thank each one of you for joining us. Uh, please join us each and every week right here at 530 Eastern Time for Praise and Worship. And also join us on Wednesdays for cooking at 5.30 on our Kids Stuff for Jesus Facebook page where I'll be preparing a, a new recipe every single week. And I want to encourage you to uh, make this week a week that you will draw even closer to our Lord and Savior. Don't forget your daily devotions. You know, spend that time with Jesus to just draw closer to Him and in His presence. Uh, thank you so much. God bless you. Have an awesome week. And remember, it's your time to share Jesus. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless you. Isn't that right, Teddy Bear? Yes, it is.